So I know this isn't a normal location, but I thought I would share the beauty of one of the ways Philly and I have been cultivating quiet in the first of this new year. We are getting creative because we're in a different location for just a hot minute. And we have discovered YouTube um, creativity. I was going to say heaven, but YouTube is far from heaven. So we found the fire, crackling fireplace. And then we found this beautiful um, nature video. This was, Philly discovered this this morning. So, but today it reminded me because there are just these breathtaking images of birds and elk and deer and geese and see look so i was thinking about all the passages of scripture that talk about creation declaring the handiwork of god and all creation worships the lord and i have taught for years that when you think about it creation is the only thing that was here at the beginning the earth was created in the very beginning so the earth remembers eden and yet with the fall everything changed and animals that used to be just pilgrims on the same journey became predators of each other in order to figure out how to survive in this fallen world. But scripture says creation groans for the return and the release of itself back to what it knew. And so even with all these gorgeous images, creation knows that Eden was far more breathtaking and beautiful. So when we feel earthquake shaking beneath us, it's the earth's way of telling us, I long for my redemption too. Because our hearts were created for the beauty of the Eden world, if you will, the beauty of God's original design and so they crave that they long for that if ecclesiastes 3:11 says god set eternity in the hearts of man so that means that you and i were created with a seed of eternity that remembers eden too even though we can't logically remember it here and we have no memories of it our heart has this um longing for home. And no matter how we try to gratify ourselves or make ourselves feel at home here, home can never be created here because our home is eternal. So all those things that we try to fill life with in order to find pleasure, contentment, happiness, if they're things of the world, we find our hearts still groaning. I had one pastor say one time that God set eternity in your heart because he set you up. He set you up for him. So those groanings and longings are your, of your heart aren't really for the next relationship or the next Amazon purchase the next piece of chocolate cake. Your heart's really hungry for Jesus. It's not even hungry for the next measured place of success, the next mile marker that you made it somehow or you're validated somehow because even when you get there, you're going to want more. Because just like the earth groans for Jesus' return, your, your heart and my heart groans for home. And this isn't it. So that's what one little YouTube 
program ignited in my heart today. So, so quiet yourself this week. Ask the Lord if there's any place in your heart that you're trying to fill with something that's a false replica of what you're really hungry for, which is just like the earth. We're all just hungry.